Hey Meeple people, and on today's vlog, we're playing Sherlock 13 by Arcane Wonders and Borden Factory. Let's get to snooping! Sherlock Holmes, John Watson, James Moriarty, Irene Adler, and other notorious characters have become the prime suspects of a serious crime. One of them is undoubtedly the criminal, but whom? Surely, with even Sherlock as a suspect, no one can be trusted. You must solve the case alone, despite others investigating, deducing the true criminal with keen logic and wit. Welcome, Meeple people, and hello, Sarah. Hi there. So, Sarah, what game are we playing on today's vlog? Today we are playing Sherlock 13, a two to four player game from Arcane Wonders and Board M Factory. They sent us this copy for the channel. Thank you very much. Um, this is a very simple deduction game. Um, it takes about 15 minutes to play and um, it is basically uh, all of the deduction of the classic board game Clue or Cluedo boiled down into a quick, simple, um, sort of essential version. Um, and it is pretty neat. Would you like to know how to play? Yes, please. Okay, so um, this is going to be for the two player experience. It's going to be a little bit different if you play with three or four players, but this is strictly speaking for the two player experience. So what happens is each player gets one of these little player screens right here and one of these little dashboards which we are going to use to keep track of all of the clues that we discover throughout the game. The object of the game for two players is to guess the identity of this culprit right here. Uh, these are kind of like red herring cards which um, may cast a little bit of confusion throughout the game, but whoever can figure out this one here first will win the game. And the way that it's going to work is on your turn, you have one of three actions that you can take. The first um, possible action that you could do would be to uh, would be to select another player and in this case since it's only two players we just talk to the other player and you ask them how many of a particular icon they can see so um, i'm not going to show you my cards maybe nick will show you his um, but basically what's going to happen is all of the cards have some icons on them and this dashboard here tells us which icons are on which cards so i could say to nick how many skulls can you see and if Nick says, oh, I can see three skulls. Well, there are only three skulls, right? There's one on Sebastian, there's one on Irene, and there's one on James down here. So if he says, I can see three skulls, then I know that three of his cards are these three cards right here. But let's say he says, I can only see one. Well, if I can't see any in my hand, then I'm not sure, but I know that it's going to be one of these three cards right here, right? Because that's where all the skulls are. So that's one thing that you can do on your turn is you can ask your opponent how many of a particular icon they can see. Um, another thing that you can do is swap a card from your hand with one of these two cards right here. And um, when you do that, you have to place the card from your hand face up. So you are giving your opponent a little bit of information, but you're going to get to take one of these face down cards and put it into your hand so you get some fresh information as well. Um, and then the, la the last thing that you can do on your turn is to venture a guess as to who you think the culprit is. And um, the rules are not extremely clear on what happens in a two player game if you are wrong. Um, they say in a, a higher player count game that um, if you're wrong when you make a guess, you are out of the game, but you still have to provide information when asked for it. Um, so for a two player game, we just said that instead of defaulting to the other player just automatically winning, um, that they get one chance to kind of make a guess um, and see if they are correct about the identity of the culprit. Um, so that's about it. It's pretty simple. Like I said, it seems like it's all of the deduction um, elements of the classic game Clue or Cluedo boiled down into this sort of like quick 15 minute uh, card game. Uh, should we give it a try, Nick? Yes. All right, let's all do right. it. Well, let's go ahead and jump into Sherlock 13 and we'll get back to you guys mid game. All right, toodles. Welcome back, Meeple people, and hello, Sarah. Hi. So, how's it going so far in Sherlock 13? I don't know. I, I've narrowed my list of suspects down significantly, but I do feel a little bit kind of in the dark. So, mm. I don't know how it's going. How's it going over there? It's going pretty well. Uh, I've narrowed it down to so many people, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I am... I feel like on a good track. 
I don't know how many people you have narrowed down, so I might be like way off. But uh, but yeah, so I, I'm and I enjoy this game. It's a uh, it's very quick. Yeah, it's and very quick. It's very simple. It doesn't take up a lot of table space. It doesn't take up a lot of time. It's very quick to teach. Very quick to play. Um, Could be I even like a little it. bit of a filler, like a very short yeah, filler. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, a filler, a palate cleanser. You know, yeah. that kind of thing. Especially it's you know for a social deduction game, usually they take a while to play, and they take like a whole bunch of. Uh, the ones I've played, I've played a lot of long ones. I would say that this is not necessarily social deduction. Mm, this I'm is sorry, just deduction. deduction. Um, I usually don't really like social deduction games very much, but I do like deduction games. So um, I'm I'm enjoying this. Yeah. Indeed. Well, shall we? Uh, shall we get back into it? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and jump back into Sherlock 13, and we're gonna go ahead and see who's the winner and loser, and who is. The serious criminal. I love how it just says serious crime. <laughs> they don't tell like, you what he did. Is it murder? Did, is it like? They just say like it was a serious crime was committed. So. Whoa! So serious crimes here. <laughs> All right. So, well, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. All right. Toodles. Hello, Meeple people, and hello, Sarah. Hi there. So, Sarah, who was the winner, and who was the serious criminal? I was the winner. And in a weird, ironic twist of fate, Sherlock Holmes himself was our criminal. Gasp! Plot twist. So disappointed. Disappointed, Sherlock. What the heck? <laughs> he was like, guys, I have solved so many crimes, I can probably have make the perfect crime. But then I was like, not today, Sherlock. But then he trained Watson too well, and Watson came and was like, I'm sorry, old friend, and stabbed him in the back. <laughs> uh, drama! <laughs> so what did you think of Sherlock 13, Nick? I, I like this little deduction game. It's nice, like we said earlier, it's a nice little filler, and I appreciate smaller games um, at certain times of the day. <laughs> and yeah. after certain games, too. I th it, it's a nice, it's a, it's refreshing but also it's not terribly like too simple since it's no i mean it's it quick and it's simple mechanically but yeah. i mean it is deduction you do have yeah. to you know you have to deduce what what you can see and what the clues you're given and that kind of thing um i like it a lot i think they've they've basically boiled down all of the best parts of of clue or cluedo into um a simple um streamlined experience um, that is like well themed, well implemented, um, very very easy to um, pick up, very easy to play. Um, I think it's just a nice streamlined experience um, that has taken all of the best parts of like classic deduction and, and made it into like that's just that's all it is. That's just exactly what it is. And I think what it's, you get. it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. I like uh, the little iconic characters there. They're putting in, and you know, Moriarty's in here, and you're just like. You're a big Sherlock yeah. fan, I know. Uh, I the I read the audio or listened to the audio books, and I really enjoyed them. And I'm not much of the, what is it the the video adaptation of, uh, all of them, but the artwork's nice too. I really enjoy the artwork. Just that old, you know older style of clothing and everything simpler yeah, times it's nicely <laughs> themed and um i think that they've done a nice job implementing the um the theme with the art and the style and and the graphic design and all that kind of stuff it's it's well implemented um so yeah that's what we think about sherlock yeah. 13. if you like deduction and you like smaller games and you like to have that selection of filler, we definitely recommend you go ahead and check out Sherlock 13. And, uh, yeah. And tell us in the comments below who is your favorite version of Sherlock. Mine is Johnny Lee Miller from Elementary. Um, I think that he is personally um, my favorite, and I absolutely love the sort of gender-bent Watson that's in that show. I think that Lucy Liu just absolutely does a phenomenal job uh, in that role. So tell us who your favorite Sherlock is, and 
like oh. and subscribe. Yeah. So we'll catch you on the next vlog. And like we said before, this is Sherlock 13. And we hope you enjoyed what we had to say about it. We'll catch you guys later. Toodles!